Durability testing is, in a broad sense, measuring performance change over time. So the two main tests that we do are a general durability test, which we run at Approving Grounds. It's a test that takes a longer time. It's a low acceleration ratio, but it represents the entire life of the vehicle. The other test is our accelerated durability test, which is one that we run at a third-party lab using an MTS 329 machine. This test allows us to do all the durability for a lifetime of the vehicle in about a month of time. We are studying complete vehicle performance, so looking at systems that the rider experiences and interacts with, and systems that the rider does not see but are imperative to keep the vehicle functioning and operating normally. When creating the test program for the general durability test, we have to consider the very long four-year, 400,000-mile life of the Zooks vehicle, which certainly extends our testing program. Part of durability testing is water fording, and during water fording, we're driving the vehicle through varying heights of water. What we're trying to evaluate is the robustness of the design of our exterior trim components, as well as the sealing of the body. We're definitely testing all aspects of the vehicle, whether it be the sensor stack, the compute system, even if it's not being used, you know, the standard procedures. We still want to track its performance over time. For us, it's trying to capture the complete customer experience, so door articulation on both sides, ride height adjustment, charging both on the vehicle side as well as for the customers for their phones, and then all of the sensor cleaning. There's a bunch of different systems on this vehicle that are unique to most of the vehicles I've ever seen. We want to make sure that the vehicle is as durable on the last day of service as it is in the first day. 